All right, uh, hi everybody. Today I've got another showdown live for you, uh, coming at you from the PU tier today. Um, and let me tell you, I've had trouble. <laughs> I've had some trouble with this tier because everything in this tier sucks, which I guess is the point. But regardless, it still is very annoying to have to use a decent team down here, especially when I want to run something really fun and offensive. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to get into the team preview. I'll leave a timestamp there if you want to skip straight to the battles. But for now, let's get into the team preview. So, um, this team is actually based around... Oh, I wanted to use uh, Scarfed like on Rock Midnight because this thing is just really cool. It just looks cool, you know? It's just... I, I like the fact that it has no guard and a stab stone edge. And it just looks sick, right? This thing looks like it's going to kill you. So, yeah, I've got that on the team. Um, and I've kind of based a, a, a very offensive team around it. So it's a very standard set. Fire Punch, Stomping Tamper, and Stone Edge just for a bit of coverage. And um, Toxic on there as well, just because I know if something wants to switch in, I can get at least a Poison off on it. Because um, it doesn't have that many other coverage moves, if I'm honest. So next up, we have a, a Life Orb Swanner. Um, this has fairly decent offensive synergy with Lycan Rock. And... Um, it can kind of be used to, for hazard control, mostly this is like uh, as a strong special attacker on my team because I don't really have anything that hits really hard on the special side, so this uh, Swanna will do just fine for that because it has really good uh, stab combination of obviously flying and uh, water and stab hurricane. It hurts anything really, especially with a life orb. Um, yeah, it hurts pretty much anything that isn't a dedicated fully specially defensive uh, Pokemon, but even then I have enough momentum on this team to be able to... Uh, deal with stuff like that. So yeah, it has Defog and Roost as well. Roost is like for uh, when I know I force a switch or something, I can just get my health back because I know, for example, if they're going to switch in like an Ordino or something, there's no point in going for a Hurricane because it will only do about 35 to 40 percent. Um, I may as well just go for a Roost uh, rather than anything else on a force switch. And obviously Defog as well, just because it's it's nice to have hazard control, especially on a team like this. So next up, I've got a bulky Me Sprit as one of the uh, pivots on my team. Has a Cobra Berry on it just to stop. Um, well, to try and tank a dark hit or two, maybe a pursuit or a knockoff, and uh, get either a U-turn or a stealth rock uh, off or something. But yeah, this is one of the bulky pivots on my team. It's kind of a fighting, uh, one of the fighting checks, and just the check to strong physical attackers. It can kind of come in. It's fast enough to get a U-turn out because it has enough speed investment to outspeed base 50s that aren't running a boosting nature. So, for example, Adamant Agron or something with a choice band, uh, I'd be able to outspeed that and get a U-turn off or get a psychic off because it. You know, or just get something off, you know, <laughs> or get my rocks out before I die. Um, yeah, so that's uh, me sprit there. Um, and then I have my other pivot, which is uh, a Salt Vest Electros. This thing has enough uh, special bulk within the Salt Vest to be able to take on a few we a few special attackers. We'll kind of, not take them on, but check them, you know, um, and then get off of a very, very slow Volt Switch, which um, lets one of my offensive threats get in or form a Volt Turn Call with something else on the team. Um, but yeah, this kind of just is kind of, just kind of a standard Electros uh, set. I have Acid Spray on it because I know it doesn't seem to be the standard anymore. Yeah, it seems like people uh, like to run like Knock Off or something, which makes sense because obviously um, Knock Off is a great move. But I still like Acid Spray because um, if it comes down to it, like Electros, if Electros is something it can't touch super hard, like just as an example, just again, Ordino. I can just acid spray that and just kind of start piling the pressure on a little bit or dust clops or something you know if I have something else that can't really break that I don't want to bring in to try and break through it I'll just start acid spraying them and um, it kind of forces them to switch out or and if they do switch out I can always get a volt switch predicting that so that's what that is all about I've got um, a Stoutland a banded adamant Stoutland which is a beast by the way I love this thing um, yeah I've uh, got I've got this as kind of a ghost type check uh, because it Obviously, it can't it can't sponge? Um, well, I suppose it can kind of. It can it can kind of sponge status because I have facade on it. Because um, I believe from Gen Six onwards, if you are hit with a Will O Wisp but you still have facade, it will still come out of the regular power. So this could, this is kind of a ghost type check because obviously with Scrappy, it can hit everything pretty hard. And if uh, someone wants to bring in Spiritomb, obviously uh, super effective banded superpower just blows that away. Um, yeah, this. Ghost type check, as I said, and kind of a wall breaker in general. It's a very, very strong Pokemon. Love Stoutland a lot. He's, and he's got so much bulk as well. It's a very bulky Pokemon, so it's, you know, it's, he, it can come in on like neutral hits and just blow something away afterwards, especially on walls. Um, yeah, if, if I can get like this U turned or Volt switched in, it, it's pretty much guaranteed to kill something. Like even, even really physically defensive monsters like, say, uh, Weezing, 
won't be able to take it on too comfortably uh, if I have my stealth rocks up. Um, with that being said, my last Pokemon is a Scarf Primate. I know it seems weird that I'm running dual Scarf on the team, and it is kind of weird, I guess. Um, but Lycanroc is kind of used as a late game sweeper or like a revenge killer for things that don't boost their speed as much, whilst Primap is used for things that actually boost their speed a little bit. So like the slow smell, uh, the slow shell smash users, such as uh, Caracosta, Crustle, um, and Turtonator as well. Uh, because it can outspeed them even after they're at plus two because they're just so unbearably slow and still get off um, some fast moves. And also this provides U-turn momentum for the team and a stab close combat is always fun to have. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the team. So I'm actually going to get straight into some battles. So I'll come back if we... No, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we have our first game here. Um... Ooh, this is... I'd... I'm going to just lead with Primate because I feel like it's probably my best lead against this guy. He actually leads with Gerda, which is an interesting choice. I'm going to go straight for a U-turn because I know uh, this... Gerda's usually like... Uh, well, they're usually very bulky. They are just always bulky. Um, I think... I don't really want to take a knockoff on me, Sprit, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go into Swanner because I'm going to start pressing Hurricane and everything's going to die, yeah. Knockoff is what he chooses to go for. I mean, I still have Stab Hurricane to threaten him with, so I could actually Roost as well. Um, I'm going to Roost, see what he tries to do, and he just goes into Drumper. This thing, because he brought it in on like what could have been a Stab Hurricane, he might well be Assault Vested. <clears throat> but Drumper hits really hard, so I'm a little bit scared of this thing. I'm going to go into Electros because I'm sure I can take a Draco Meteor. And he goes for Toxic, so he's not Assault Vest. He might just be bulky. Interesting. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. Drumper's so slow, so I actually get that off first. I'm just going to go into Me Sprint now and just see kind of what he wants to do. He Toxics again. That's fine. I'm going to set up my Rocks now, I think. See what he wants to do. Dragon Pulses doesn't do very much yet. So he's definitely some sort of defensive variant, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to U-turn out and go into Stoutland, because Stoutland can hit up his whole team for massive damage now. I can... Oh no, he... Drumper carries... I didn't even realise Drumper got default, to be honest with you. I'm just going to go straight... Yeah. This is not going to take it well. Good god, that did nearly half. Um... I'm actually going to go for another one. And he goes into Aurora, so Aurora won't take it particularly well, I don't think. I take it a lot better than I expected it to, to be fair. Um... I think Electros is my switch in here and I can get a volt another Volt Switch off. My god! That is a lot of damage. That is Specs. That's gotta be. Holy Christ. That's a lot of damage. Okay, well, um, ideally I want to keep Electros for uh, Quillfish, perhaps. Um, okay, yeah, this is terrifying. Oh dear, this is, this is a very, very scary threat. Uh, I can revenge kill one of those, so I'll just have to let Electros die, unfortunately, because yeah, I have nothing that can take one. Um, that's what offense is, unfortunately. I'm going to go into Swanna, and I'm going to hit him up with a Scald. And he goes into Drampa, fair enough. This Drampa's got to be special defense if he, if he keeps bringing it in on this. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a Hurricane. I did a decent amount, actually. I didn't do bad damage at all. Uh, I'm going to go back into Stoutland now. Hopefully he goes for another... This thing gets Roost as well. I'm so confused right now. I didn't realise it's got any of these moves. But yeah, Quillfish won't take this particularly well, to be honest. I mean, Quillfish is bulky and all, but oh my god, that's a two-hit KO. Uh, I'm just going to go for another return. And he goes for Pain Split, that's fine. I mean, I take a bit of damage that's, that sucks. Um, but Quillfish dies, so that's really good. That's opened up a door for... Um, uh, for like a rock to an extent. So I'm gonna go into Primax. I'm expecting a U-turn here. And he just iron heads. That kind of sucks. Um, he's gonna be faster than me, so I'm expecting him to be uh, scarfed. So um, gonna go into Swanner because it can take. Yeah, because Toke tomorrow isn't isn't the most physically powerful thing, should we say? And I'm going to click Skull, because even if he sends in Drumper, I just want to get a burn on this, to be honest. I want this to um, get burned. Still not getting burned. Come on now, what's going on here? I want him to Toxic me now. 
Oh, damn it. Oh, no. He crits me as well. I don't know if that would have killed. That sucks. That very much sucks. However, Primate can come in and actually do a lot of damage to something. I'm just going to click close combat because... Might even 2k KO Mii Sprit to be honest with you. I'm definitely faster than Mii Sprit. That does nothing. Okay, he's definitely defensive. I thought he might be a Scarf Mii Sprit of some variety, but no, he's definitely fully invested to be defensive. He's probably going to U-turn out, but no, he doesn't want to risk that. He goes straight for a Psychic. Um, I am kind of expecting Gerda to come in here. I'm kind of expecting Gerda, so I might go into my own Mii Sprit. I am going to do that. And he just stays in and go for another psychic. Okay. Well, I'm going to set up my rocks. And I think I might healing wish something now. Yeah, I'm going to healing wish my spawner. I think he might healing wish as well, you know. Nope. Um, healing wish spawner is a good idea now, I think. Um, and I'm going to click hurricane. And it kills me spirit, luckily enough. That's great. And this is definitely a uh, scarf because he wouldn't have brought it in otherwise I feel getting something faster than it base. Um, ooh. I'm a little bit worried about this. Cause if you click zing zap, I mean I can Oh I think he might just no. Oh I think he might just be able to clear my team out actually with this. Let's see, yeah, he zing zaps. That sucks. Oh this might be it. This might actually be the end of the game. I wanna go for stomping tantrum anyway. Yeah. I think that's gonna beat me unfortunately. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, I couldn't get past that. I've never seen defensive Trampa before. That's so wild. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, pretty cool. Sucks that I got my life orb knocked off, because I feel like um could have done a bit more damage to Swanner if I had, if uh, that didn't get knocked off. But, you know, you live and learn. Um, Let's see what we've got next. Oh, dear. This is a... This is a team that looks a bit scary. Because he definitely has, uh, yeah, he definitely has sticky web support. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lead with Swanna. Hit Shuckle up with two skulls. And I can't believe that didn't even two hit KO. That's embarrassing. Uh, gonna go for another skull, and I'm gonna default on whatever wants to come in. I think. Um, yeah. I mean, I outspeed pretty much his entire team, so. I want to default because what can he threaten me with, really? Nothing at all. Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Sticky webs. Not really scary. Just gonna take him down. Please burn. Yes. Lovely. I'm gonna roost because I'm expecting him to protect now. Mm hmm. So I can roost off that. And I'm gonna go straight for a skull to knock him out. So one is actually a huge threat to his team actually. Like my stabs pretty much clean out his whole his whole team. So yeah, that's really nice. Because oh yeah, he's mono bug, thinking about it. Yeah, okay. So this is probably gonna be right, this is gonna sound weird, but I reckon he's a salt vest, otherwise he wouldn't just send this in here. So, um I'm gonna go into Primate because I can get Defiant. Um and I'm pretty sure I'm probably still faster than Armaldo, to be honest with you. Stone is not it's gonna do a hell of a lot. That might be banded actually. Goodness me, that did a ton. That did a ton. Um, I kind of want to Stone Age because obviously his whole team is weak to it. And I'm going to do that. I miss, of course I do. Of course I miss. He's not banded. That, wow. This thing is strong, apparently. Crikey, yeah. Okay, he's probably a Solvest then. Okay, well I'll try and go for Stone Age with another one of my Pokemon. Oh, he's sashed. Interesting. I'm really confused right now, because I don't know why you would go into this. Hmm. I'm a little annoyed that I missed that Stone Edge before. He's probably uh, scarfed on this. I'm going to go into Electros. The Rock Slides, that's no problem. Um, I can Volt Switch out. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure he's scarfed, otherwise he wouldn't send this in. But then again, you never you never know, considering he just sent his Armaldo in against the Swanner. A Life Orb Swanner, like... I guess because... Oh no, okay, he's not sure he's scarfed on Pinsir. That's cool. Well, I guess when you have a... 
Okay, so I don't... Why would you send this in then? I can just scold. I'm very confused by how this guy's playing at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's up. Um, me sprit? And I'm weak to, obviously, his whole team, because he's mono-bug, but... <sighs> man, I'm really, I'm really mad I missed that Stone Edge. I could have gone for any... Uh, I don't know, really. Pretty lame. Pretty lame. I'm going to set up my own rocks now, though. Cool. Uh, so that one could probably take a plus one hit from this, because it's really weak. He's going to air slash and flinch me, no, no doubt. Yeah, that's fine. Is he sash? Oh my god, why do you have so many sashes? Okay, so that's that gone. God damn it. Okay, well that's, that's embarrassing. I lost a friggin' mono bug. Can we, like, not do this anymore, please? Like, <sighs> yeah, like, I mean, I'm mad, I'm mad about that Stone Age miss, because obviously he hit his, and then I immediately missed mine, and so that would have broken his sash and stopped Armada from killing one more one more of my team, so it was kind of dumb, to be honest with you, but not much of being done, it's just I don't understand why, you know, bad people win from uh, completely luck-based things. Okay, Lorantis is a little bit scary, but not too scary to where I'm that afraid of it, because I can just go into Electros, I can take a Leaf Storm, he just sends this is straight up. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna go straight for a flamethrower. And he sends in lantern, which I kind of expected. I do get the burn, which is nice. I'm gonna acid spray, and then the... he'll be threatened. I hope he probably might heal Bell here if he um he just volt switches straight away. Okay, so whatever comes in, I now have acid spray on, which is nice. Oh, cool. And he goes into me spray, so I can pretty much just volt switch here. He's not exactly doing much damage to me, is he? Like, cool, and I get my health back, so that's cool. I'm gonna Giga Drain again, because it will do quite a lot to me, Sprit. And if he wants to bring um, bring Lantern back in, uh, it will do a lot to that as well. Because Lantern isn't exactly hurting me, and he's hurting himself. Yeah, here we go. Giga Drain, gonna do quite a bit to him because he has so much HP that heals me quite a lot. Uh, cool. I think he's gonna Volt Switch. Mm. I don't want to risk him Volt Switching here. I Volt Switch and just heal him. Um, so I'm gonna Giga Drain again. He does Volt Switch. I should just be reading this, but there's no point because he's not exactly threatening me with anything. So who cares? Primate's gonna take a bunch from this anyway, yeah. Because Primate's not exactly known for its bulk. Uh, and it's not exactly known for its power either, so I'm just going to Giga Drain again, yeah. <laughs> and in comes Laurentis again, no problem. Not scared of what this thing's going to do, so I'm just going to Flamethrower. Literally all he needs to do is go into his aggro and click Head Smash, but he's not doing that for some reason. But Laurentis is going to take a lot from this Flamethrower. Yeah, it is. Um, and... I'm kind of expecting him to synthesis, so I'm going to go into Swanner now and click Hurricane. And he just goes for another superpower, that's fine. I can just click Hurricane anyway. He goes into Lantern, which pretty much hard walls this. Sucks that I miss Hurricane. Uh, it would have been nice to have the extra damage because Lantern's not getting any recovery uh, because of the burn. Uh, but... Just gonna go back into Electros. See what switches. Surprise, surprise. I'm expecting Primate to close combat now, but <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into Meesprick because I think he might click close combat now. No U turns again. He's just gonna keep doing the same thing with every Pokemon, apparently. I'm gonna set up my rocks. I don't think that's banded. I didn't do enough. I didn't feel like it did enough to be banded.
Hmm. Gonna go into prime map anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not banded. Uh, well, he's definitely not sturdy because I saw that he didn't take Rockhead Recoil. Uh, I'm actually gonna. I could click close combat, but it won't do enough to me spread. I don't wait. Oh, it might actually. Wait. Thirty minus nineteen. It's eleven. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to close combat. Me Sprit shouldn't be able to take two of these, I don't think. Nope. Don't, can't even take one, apparently. Brilliant. Coolio. Gonna go like and rock. I'm pretty sure I can take a hit because this isn't exactly the strongest thing in the world. Even Blizzard doesn't even like KO me, that's pretty embarrassing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna Stone Edge. Yeah, I thought. I was a bit worried of, ah, oh, you know what, I had no reason not to click Stomping Tantrum, actually. But that's okay. Uh, gonna send him Prime Ape again. I can take a head, but oh my god, I only just about take a head smash, holy crap. <laughs> Damn. Gonna U-turn as he sends in Lorantis, which might just die. Yes. Because I crit him, which I'm... That matter? I feel like that probably mattered. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know. I can't be asked to do the calc. It doesn't matter that much. Um, gonna send in like a romp now. Uh, because I actually feel like Stomping Tantrum will probably sweep most of his team. If he sends out Prime Life, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, that's bad. Um, okay, fine. Like a rock can still have another uh, rock switch in. Um, Prime Ape I would like to keep alive. Is Moose Brit useful? Electros is not particularly useful. Actually, right. I've got an idea. It's fine. He U-turns. I don't agree with that, really. I feel like he could have just clicked close on man so I would die. But then again, he'd, I'd get the initiative on him, so it makes sense. Um, he's kind of forced into Frostlash here, I feel like. But I'm not scared of Frostlass. I, I'm Frostlass. I can just go into uh, into Stoutland and click uh, Superpower, and everything dies. So yeah, because Frostlass is so low. Well, I mean, he'll die because he's Ice type. Because obviously it will not the Ghost. Lantern won't be able to live after Rocks. Agron definitely won't live. Primeap definitely won't live yet. So yeah, it's pretty much the best play I can make. Um, I'm gonna Giga Drain just in case he decides to try and like yeah trick me up or something. That's fine, I'm gonna Stoutland and Superpower something. Because everybody dies to this. Good luck finding a switch and oh wait, you don't have one. <clears throat> yeah, this this comes in and gets a kill every time now. Uh, it can outspeed Lantern and a minus one it might even just kill. Uh, if he wants to send it in afterwards. I mean he has to sack something and bring in Primate, which I'm fine with. Uh, yeah. And luckily I have more monster sack than he does, so <laughs> he's in a bit of trouble now. He goes into Lantern to sack this, lovely, goodbye. Yeah, fine. Ah, uh, this is kind of to be expected. Actually, I've got an idea. Yeah, that's fine. He clicks close combat. Uh, it's actually a little bit scary. But I think Swan I should take one. And with that being said, I'm going to Roost. Because I want to be able to switch it in more times against this. I want to be able to switch, uh, keep it healthy enough to switch into Prime Apes um, close combat. Uh, because otherwise I literally get swept by this. Unless, uh, well, I risk a speed tie between his and mine. And I actually die to it. Oh crap. Well. This is bad. Okay. Gonna U turn. That kills, thank god. Oh, I don't know if the crit mattered there. Might have done, who cares? Stoutland wins now, I think.
Oh, Z. Like a rock wind, it's fine. Dual scarfers, baby. That's why we do it. Stomping type. Yeah, definitely cool. Frostlass. Oh no, disabled my cursed body. Oh crap, no, that's fine. I've still got Primate. Uh, I'll just struggle him. Uh. Yep, and Primate will live rock switching because it's fighting type and close combat for the game. Jesus Christ, that was a close one. <laughs> That's offense, man. Offense is mad. Oh god, this guy was like 1500. Oh wow. I, he was like quite a bit above me, so that was nice. <laughs> yeah, he, he typed in the chat like, Acid Spray as if it was a bad move. Dude, Acid Spray is broken. So good. Because like, it just forces you to switch. Which is what I like on offense, because that means I can get initiative on you. <laughs> yeah, especially with a vault. A vault uh, a volt switch like electros, but yeah anyway I think uh gonna be waiting a while so BRB I guess. Alright and we found one. Um I feel like I played this guy a little while ago. Um like the other day. Not like super recently but the other day. Okay so Carvink is his lead. I don't like Carvink he's annoying. But I'm just gonna U-turn straight away and he actually goes Sabalai. Um okay U-turn's fine. Does a, quite a bit of damage, so that's great. Uh, oh. This shits on his team. This actually shits on him. Um, gonna scold. Uh -oh. Let me think. I'll hurricane actually. Oh, I should have scolded. Oops. That does nothing, to the point where I'm not confident about going for another one. But you might just set up rocks. Now it's not worth the risk. I'll just go into Electros and um, threaten whatever. Wait, oh, he's Calm Mind. Interesting. I'm going to Acid Spray him. Oh shit, he has Clear Body. Of course he does. Oops. What an idiot. <laughs> uh, okay, that's cool. That is cool. How do I kill this? Hmm. Go into me, Sprit. Get up my own rocks. Yeah, because I have a couple of things that can, like, revenge kill this or wear it down. Plus two Moonbuster still does nothing because Carving is a weak piece of shit, so that's good. Yeah, I'm going to U-turn and go into what, though? I'm going to go into Stoutland and I'm going to just click Super Power because uh, it will do a lot to Carve Inc, I think. Yeah, because I'm, I'm Adam and Bam, like, this is going to hurt. That did hurt. Awesome. And I'm going to go straight into Lycan Rock and click Stomping Tantrum. Because that was Unstab Neutral, I'm sure Stomping Tantrum should be able to kill this. I've already seen clear body, so I, it's not going to be levitating, basically. But yeah, I'm just going to go straight for a stomping tantrum. I don't feel like there's a reason not to. And Quillfish will get hurt by this. Might even two hit KO. Not quite. Yeah. I just realised I lost my Stoutland, which was my like main answer. Actually, no, I've got Swan of Stabilize, so I'm not too worried. Uh, speaking of Swan, I'm going to go into Swan now, because I feel like he's going to try and hazard me. He goes into Stabilize, that's fine. Uh, should I click Skull or should I click Hurricane? Skull works. Actually, mm, I'm just going to defog first. Because I don't want these hazards around. Oh, will this block? It will. Okay. Um, I didn't. Oh, no, no, I still. Okay, right, fine. Uh, I'm going to Skull twice now. That does a lot. Yes, awesome. Okay. I'm actually going to roost, because even at plus two I'll be able to kill with another Scold, and I want to get my health back. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna roost. <sighs> get Swanner back to full, because Swanner is a really good Pokemon in this matchup. He has rest! Oh, okay, that's a little bit scary. But I'm just going to Scold a few more times, because I critted him. Oh wow, I'm a bad person. He shouldn't have Sleep Talk, right? No. 
I'm gonna say I've seen all four of these moves now. And scold again. And that means he won't be able to get up rocks anymore. And I still can, which is nice. Rocks will be useful. Actually, mm, well, he has Claydol, which is most likely. In fact, it's almost definitely his spinner. I don't really feel like you'd use Claydol <laughs> under any other circumstance. I mean, I can outspeed this, so I'm just going to click Hurricane, which I miss, of course. Of course I miss. Uh, I'm just going to go for another one. I don't know why he would have brought this in, to be honest with you. Really? 70% accurate, man. Come on. That's lame. That's so lame. Why? Why would you leave it in? Like, what? I get you'd run headbutt for the flinching, which is gay as is, but you're really gonna, like, leave it in against two hurricanes because you're too bad to think of any doing anything else. Come on. Trash. Complete garbage. <sighs> Sorry, like, I don't... I don't like to get this frustrated, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, that was objectively the worst play he could have made. But yet, he still did it. Because... He has no other way to win, because he's bad. Two hurricanes, man. That's so bogus. Actually so lame. Like, two... 70% accurate. Does that not imply that, um... Ah, does that not imply that it's pretty accurate? Like, you know, what, um... Oh, man, it's so lame. So lame. I'm actually so annoyed by that. Ugh. Stupid. Uh, I could click close combat against this, because fighting kind of wrecks literally half of his team. Uh, but I'm going to U-turn. Yeah. Because he has Weezing and he has Gerda and he has Clefairy, all of which uh, can take a close combat pretty handily. He just stays in because this guy's wild. I can go into Electrofox, which is cool. Let's go straight for a Sub Zero Slammer. I don't know why he would do that. A little bit of a weird play, but I'm just going to go into Me Sprit. Sub SD. He's actually faster than me as well. Gonna U turn out here. I should be able to take an ice cool crash. I do very handily actually. Uh, and I'm just gonna go. Hmm. Gonna go Primate because I want to click close combat now. Yeah. Uh, and it does have Rocky Helmet on this, which kind of sucks. But... Wish I had not let Electros take that damage though. Goes for a Toxic Spike, that's fine. I was considering switching to Swanner because I could also kind of body in with like most moves, but in comes Clefairy, which is great. This pretty much gives me a free switch into Stoutland, which now has access to Facade. So something's gonna die, basically. Yeah, something dies to this. Um, Weezing can't take. I mean, Aurorus might be able to, but like it's gonna take a lot of damage from it. Yeah, Sand Slash is gonna die. No problem. Boom. My god. My god, Stoutland, you are so strong. Don't really want to take this on, though. I feel like a knockoff's coming, because me sprit's pretty obvious, but I do have the Culver Berry. He just drain punches. Crits me, so a Mac Punch might be able to kill now, but regardless, I'm going to hit Psychic anyways. Yeah, because Psychic will hit most of his team alright. Um, it'll bring, I think it'll bring Aurorus down to the point where Facade will kill, uh, although I feel like, I can't remember what base speed Aurorus is, I feel like it's pretty low, but I can't actually remember specifically, so, ooh. I'm actually going to Healing Wish my Electros now, because Electros could be useful for this game, and I, yeah, it was pretty obvious who's going to set up rocks, but that's fine, I get full health on Electros now, which is really, really nice. Because I let it get low, and now uh, this can kind of check Aurorus to an extent. So I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I'm actually going to go Swanna, and I'm going to Defog. It sucks that I've lost my Rocker, but I don't really want to. Yeah. 
Just going to click Defog here. As he can't mine. Now I'm going to go into Stoutland. I'm pretty sure he won't attack. He does just straight attack. That's fine. I can facade. Something dies. As I said, Aurorus won't take this very well at all. Good god. And there's no possible way for him to outspeed me unless he's Scarf, which I doubt. So yeah, Aurorus dies. Excellent. Awesome. This is fine. Um, I'm pretty sure Hurricane's lower in accuracy now in the hail, I want to say. Um, I think Electros is my best bet here. Yeah, this is actually perfect. This couldn't have worked out any better. Oh yeah, I thought Clefairy was lower. That's okay. Um, that's okay. I'm going to go straight into this. Right. I'm tempted to gunk shot. But for one thing, it's probably going to miss. For two thing, he has wheezing. But I'm going to gunk shot anyway. No, he goes straight into wheezing. That's fine. That makes sense. That's a more sensible play for him. But luckily, he's losing health because of the hail. So going to go back into Electros, I can take any hit, if he Toxic Spikes it's fine, if he Sludge Bombs it's fine, unless he crits me, but he doesn't get the Poison which is nice. And I'm actually going to Acid Spray on the Predictor Clefairy switch in, because now he loses a ton of special defense. Uh, and I'm going to go straight into Swanner and start killing. Because yeah, Moonblast won't do too much, he doesn't get the special attack drop luckily. I'm actually going to... Uh, I want to roost, but I don't want him to soft boiled. But uh, you know, I'm gonna roost anyway. Yep. I was. Oh, really? Really? Come on, man. That's lame. That's really annoying. Yes, that is certainly pretty annoying. But I can go Electros now and get a free Volt Switch again. I should be able to take a Scald pretty easily. Yep. Burns me, which sucks, but yeah, I can go into this. Volt switch as he goes into that. Um, okay. Just trying to decide what to go into here. Um. I need to rely on Hurricane hitting now, which kind of blows. Luckily, I did U-turn there, which is great. Um, I didn't see Life Orb damage before, so this may well be a Scarfed Swanner. But I can take a Scald, and I'm just going to Volt Switch again. Uh, yeah, I, can, I should be able to take a Scald. Weezing's going to die, which is fantastic. That's great. Um... This is alright. I need to keep Prime F alive because it can revenge kill his Swanner. I need to keep Swanner alive because it can kill his Gerda. Um, thing is, I'm kind of a kind of in a pickle because I want um, yeah, because Gerda is scary now, right? Because I can't. I've got to U-turn out. I don't know whether to sack Electro. Uh, yeah, because Electros is going to be uh, um, low enough to die to a Scald anyway. So yeah, I have to sack Electros here. And he U turns. No, he. Sorry, he doesn't U turn. He goes into Swanner, which is fine. This is fine. Um, and I'm going to Stone Stone Edge. Because I don't reckon he'll expect me to be Scarfed. Because he. Oh no, he's Scarfed as well. No, he's not. Unless he's. No, he's not Scarfed. Okay, brilliant. Um. This is scary now, though. I'm going to go into Swanner, just straight up. I'm hoping he bolts up, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can take plus one Mac Punch. Now it all depends whether I hit Hurricane or not. Frick. Yep, of course. Um, I think that's GG, to be honest. Unless, uh... Electros might be faster and might be able to hit him with a Volt Switch. No, he just Mac Punches, okay. Nice. 70% accurate. Once again failing me. 
I'm just going to see how much damage I can do with close combat and that. Seventy percent accurate, buddy. Yeah, no point. Uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Again, I mean, I, w I wish a seventy percent accurate move would actually hit seventy percent of the time. I think it's hit. How many have I used? I feel like I've used like four, and one has hit. So what's that? Twenty-five percent so far. That doesn't really sound like seventy percent to me. But what can you do? Um. Okay, that's that's really cool. Really like it. Yeah, really loving it. Um, I'll I'll pause and we'll come back with another one. Alrighty, we have found another one. This is quite a slow team actually, a very slow team in fact. So, I'm gonna leave with Scarf Primate. His Scarfer is most likely Ditto, um, which is fine I guess. He leads with Toucan on. This is scary. Actually, no, it's not. I've got Electros. I mean, it's going to be running Boom Burst and uh, Brave Bird as his stabs. So Electros is probably the best bet. And he doesn't have a ground type, so I can uh, Volt Switch out. So he's going to go into Electros, as I said. He might U-turn himself. He does. Sensible. I thought he would want to put a dent in my team, but does not opt to do that. That U-turn did a surprising amount. And he goes into Ditto. I'm not really sure why, but hopefully that means he's scarfed so he'll get the Volt Switch off first, which means I can go for my own Volt Switch, yep. If I can get my own Volt Switch off on his team, which is great, he goes into Shinodic. This is a weird Pokemon by the way, very odd. Um, there's nothing stopping me from clicking Hurricane, because like and Rock won't be able to take it very well. This will die. Uh, I doubt Wall Rhino be able to take it particularly well, so, and this definitely won't take it well. I don't know what Sil Valley he is, but I mean it's a stab, it's a stab, life orb, hurricane. Like something's gonna die. She Notting nearly dies to that, so that's great. Strength stats. I don't have very much attack uh, stats, so that's not a problem. Um, yeah, it doesn't do any damage to me, so that's great. And I'm just gonna hurricane again. Yeah, go into Wall Run. I thought Wall Run would probably be a special wall. That still does a ton, and it confuses him, which is great. Wow, I'm actually hitting Hurricanes. What next? Uh, Electros is probably my best bet here. Because um, he might have Scald or, or some variety. So I'm just going to go straight into this and click Volt Switch. I might actually outspeed because I know this thing is slow as hell. Um, but then again, I guess so is Electros. And he goes into Ditto. That's fine. Um, what can take on Ditto? This probably. Um, actually. This... How much speed does my Electros have? Just want to double check because I might just be able to get a kill now. 136 times 1.5 is what, 240 something? Yeah, I can go into Stoutland and click uh, and click Return. Because he can't kill me with anything anyway. Um, yeah, re Return's my best bet here. This will kill, this will definitely kill something. Yeah, so something's about to die. Either this, or literally any of his six members are going to die. Even Lycanroc will probably take about 80? 70 or 80, I reckon. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty great, to be honest. I want to use regular Lycanroc as well, because I reckon that will be a cool Pokemon. And he just lets his Ditto die, which is actually pretty nice, because uh, I didn't want to deal with my own Electros, because Electros is annoying. <laughs> He's just so, uh, so bulky. Um, I'm, I'm assuming his switch in here will be Lycanroc. Um, it's actually still Valley Ghost. I mean, could go for a return, because I'm not sure what he's going to do. He might parting shot, but I'm just going to return, yeah. I'm just going to return because it, hit, it still hits everything really hard. There's no reason not to here. And yeah, this won't be able to take two of these. No way. Doesn't even take one. Oh, he paralyzed me though. Which is good and bad. I do have a facade now. Which could be good. Uh, because that will literally kill everything on this team. Um, and I can take a hit from Wall Run, I'm pretty sure. Because Wall Run isn't exactly the strongest thing around. Um, Still Valley Ghost as well. I'm not. I mean, I don't really want to take parting shots from that, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, this is not ideal, so I'm just going to go into our Electros again, and I can pretty much force something out. He goes for Curse, that's fine. I'm actually going to Giga Drain, because I want to get a bit of health back, and if he stays in... Oh my god, I get a crit. What is, why am I getting so many crits and like not hitting any... Oh my goodness. Well, at least I know I'm faster, so I can just go for another Giga Drain, get a little bit of health back. Um, yeah, get a tiny bit of HP at the very least, and still kill him. Um... And I can see what he wants to go into now. Assuming it's going to be... Oh yeah, two cannon because he can just hit me with that U-turn. Um... Well, I can't really do much with this anymore, so I'll just let him kill me. I can at least get initiative on what he wants to bring in now. Um, I think my me sprit will actually... Oh no, he gunk shots. Okay, that's not a problem at all. I feel like he's choiced in some regard. Um... Uh, I feel like he might be choice, or he might be an uh, expert belt as well, which could be a thing. Uh, I'm going to go into me Sprit, and I'm actually going to set up my rocks, because oh, no, he might have has a control in the form of his Sil Valley, but I'm going to set up rocks anyway, because at least it weakens down two cannon, and he just misses Gunk Shot, so I'm thinking he might be banded if he's just still going for it. Yeah, I'm just going to click Psychic here. Uh, worst he's going to do is... Um, Defog now, which is fine. Um, and I can just go into Stoutland, because he shouldn't be able to hit me with anything. And I should be able to go for a Facade, even though I'll be at minus one, because he's definitely going to go for a Parting Shot. Facade will still hit whatever comes in really hard, so not too worried about that. Um, Lycanroc shouldn't be able to take this very well at all, no. That was 56, goddamn. Uh, I'm going to go for another one, because I feel like he's going to try and set up. And he just goes straight for a Splintered Storm Shards. That is really cool looking. He kills me with it, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, so that is a fixed four. I think my own like a rock can come in and just clean up now. I don't know how much he does to the Sil Valley, but if he switches into it, he'll die. Uh, yeah, if he switches in, he will get two hit out. I know that for a sh for a fact. Uh, two cannon obviously can't take one, and I know I'll be faster than that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is looking nice. This is looking like a bit of a late game cleanup, cleanup job. He's gonna get his broom out and just start. <laughs> just need. I was about to say just need to hit stone edges, but that's literally impossible to not do with no no guards. So I was about to say no edge. What is wrong with me? Yep, stone edge is gonna hit and kill. Lovely. Uh, he's probably gonna go sell valley now. I would assume. Yep. Uh, fine. Swanner can pretty much clean up, I think. Actually, <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go into me sprit. I feel like he's gonna parting shot. He actually multi attacks. That does. That is super effective, of course, because he's ghost type. Uh, and I'm gonna U turn as he toxics for some reason. I don't know why he wouldn't go for another one. Uh, and I can go into Swanner and. How much did my psychic do before? Because that will determine. That will help me determine whether or not he's specially or physically defensive. I'm sure I hit him with a psychic before. Twenty-eight. I think I did a bit much, so I'm just gonna hit him with a hurricane. I actually land, which is phenomenal. Um, and gonna hit. Just gonna go for a scald and two cannon. It should do, and it might. It might even kill because two cannon is. Oh no, maybe he is scarred. Okay, that's fine because I have like a lot. I have two Scarfers that can do this, so yeah, and Stone Age is just going to kill. Brilliant. So that's kind of how the team is meant to work, just constantly pile on offensive pressure and not just always miss moves that should be 70% accurate. Oh, this is a bit scary. I've seen a lot of these Pulp 3E people, and I don't know why, I don't know who they are, or what they want from me, but here we are, I guess. Uh, I'm going to leave with Lycanroc because I feel like uh, Scyther's going to lead. do this because even when people join it's really pissing me off. Um, I'm going to go straight for Stone Edge. Okay. Nice crit turn one which is nice. Okay so he's definitely Scarf Scyther which is at least uh, comforting to know. Uh, I can go to Me Sprit. He goes into Lantern, that's no problem. Um, I could set up rocks here. 
fact I will. Uh, I'm thinking probably Buffalon or no, actually no, Scythe is definitely going to come out here. Yeah, Scythe comes out, no problem. Uh, does he have Rap? Oh, Oma Star learns Rapid Spin, I think. Oh, oh no, it's hit. Oh, there's a hit Monchan there, you idiot! What is wrong with me? I don't know where I'm going to get. Actually, no. If I put, if he pursues, it won't kill. So. Gonna go Swanna. No, he doesn't pursue, he's probably just gonna U turn, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this threatens out Hitmonchan, so that's cool. He goes into Lantern, of course, and. Electros is probably my play here. Yeah, this Volt Turn call is really good, but luckily I do have the rocks up to try and prevent, uh, nerf it a little bit at the very least. Uh, and I can Volt Switch on this as he rapid spins, that's fine. That does enough to where... Ooh, ooh, can Stoutland come in and kill something? I think it can, you know? Yep, in comes Stoutland, something's gonna die. Uh, Oma Star will be able to take one because he has good defense, but I might just superpower. Yeah, I will superpower actually. Because if he goes into Oma Star, yeah, this will probably just die unless he's Sash. He just dies. Awesome. Okay, so that's what that was a huge threat, so I'm glad that's out of the way. And that was the only resist to return as well, so. I can just start clicking return soon enough and everything will be fine. Gonna go into my Primate because I'm expecting U-turn. Yep. At least I can U-turn myself now against whatever. It'll probably be a Lantern. Um, yeah. It'll probably be Lantern. Yes, she has his me spread. I can outspeed this regardless, so I'm just gonna U-turn myself. Um I'm gonna go into my own me spray. I feel like he might U-turn himself actually. Yeah, he does. Oops. I'm gonna set up my rocks because I'm expecting. Oh yeah, I can still take one, so that's great. I'm drawing enough speed to outspeed me, or he wins a speed tie. Either way, it's not good, but. I'm hoping I can stop his Hitmonchan from spinning uh, either way. This is scary, I guess, but I don't want to have Stoutland in the back. Um, yeah, I feel like Stoutland's my play. Um, I, I don't know if Bandit Return will kill this, because he has leftover, so he might be running a bit more bulk, but I'm going to quickly check on... Yeah, return won't kill, but superpower will, and superpower will do enough at minus one to kill Hilt Monchan, so yeah. Down goes that. Uh, yeah, this is good. I mean, I feel like he's just going to U-turn, go straight into... Yeah, he's probably going to go... Actually, no, I don't know if he wants to risk the damage on site. I think he does. He's... Um... <clears throat> I want to go Swanner just so I can, no, because he gets U-turn anyway, so. Um. Um, um, um. Gonna go Primate. It's a U-turns again, that's fine. South is pretty much dead. To any move. Um, I feel like he's, he might go me sprit to... Yeah, to get his own rocks up now or U-turn, but I'm gonna U-turn myself because I can, and I'm gonna go into Stoutland actually. Yeah, he U-turns. That's fine. I just want to keep him on Chan out really, because if he goes Lantern, that die he has to go Scyther again. He has to go Scyther again if he wants to threaten me. Um, basically, yeah, I'm piling on enough pressure now, so this is really good. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, this is this is troublesome for him. I'm in a really good spot actually, because if he goes lantern, that dies or whatever switching dies. If he goes scyther, that's literally at one percent HP now. Uh, or it's at one health, like not even one percent. It's just at one. Uh, so yeah, that, that's really really good. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Uh, my team is looking a bit weakened, but not enough to where I'm too worried. You got Scyther, deciding to leave that at 1% HP. I'm actually going to... Right, I'm a bit worried that he's just going to Hail Mary and click a move that isn't U-turn. Actually, no, I can take a move. Yeah, he just Aerial Aces, no. Okay, I didn't... That's not the ideal situation. Um, I want Hitmonchan to die, yeah. I, I don't care that that's dead now. That kind of did its job, which is weakened down his whole team. Uh, Swallow can come in. I feel like Lantern's coming in as a result of that. I'm going to double into Lycan Rock expecting Lantern to come in. And I can do... I can do big damage to this for Stone Edge. Yeah, that killed. I didn't expect that to kill. Crikey. Okay, that's great. And then Swanner comes in, and I think I win. There shouldn't be a reason why I lose this now. Because I can just click Skull, it'll definitely... Life Wolf Skull to Kui Hitmonchan, no question about it. Um, and me Sprit, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's outspeared by Primeape, and I have Sack Fodder in case U-turn uh, doesn't kill for whatever reason. So, yeah, that was a... Uh, that was cool. I was, I was really happy with that one, with how I played that one. So, that was good. Um, I think I'm just going to do the one more. Oh Christ, is it really? Okay, actually no, that's going to have to be the last one. I didn't realise how long I've been recording for. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to cut a couple of minutes out because of the, uh, because there was a couple of waits. But besides that, Jesus, <laughs> probably because I got so angry earlier I didn't notice. <laughs> but no, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you all very soon. So thank you.